so this is how we can assign a Word document in your Android device. Let's get into it. First of all, you will need to find it somewhere locally saved or on cloud or whatever it happens to be. But what you need to do to, in order to sign it is to have a dedicated app for editing the Word documents. I personally recommend you to get the Microsoft Word. It is free to use for the most part. And after you have the app downloaded and once you are signed in and ready to use the app, you can import whichever file you want to sign, right? You can find it, as I said, on your clouds or on your local storage, right? And once you have it open, you're going to be able to just see some of the options available at the top. So you have the home, you have the formatting, you have the ability to insert an image, a blank page or whatever. And you also have the ability to draw on it, right? So as you can see right here, when I move over to the draw section, I can switch to the finger icon right there and choose a pen of the black color by default with a normal thickness, right, which can also be adjusted. And I can just find that area on that Microsoft Word document where I want to sign it. And I can use my finger and perform the, the signature there and essentially just save it and I'm good to go. So I can then tap on the file, tap on save as, and save it either to a cloud again or to my local storage. So this is pretty simple to do. I personally like this kind of approach where I just use one app and it's just as simple as that. But besides this, and I have mentioned it in one of my other videos, there are some dedicated signing apps available. For instance, there is one called JetSign, which I like to use. And this one is good for PDFs as well as some other files, but it is a dedicated app where you come up with your signature and it can be added on top of your files, right? So it can work with some different ones uh, and even PDFs are fine, even JPEGs. So if you want a little bit more comprehensive approach or you need to sign a lot of documents every day, then a, a dedicated app like this might get the job done better. So that's it from me. Hit the thumbs up on the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this one, and I'll see you in the future.